Hi, I'm Giuliano De Luca. In this video, we will see how to build a, a real-time news feed across SharePoint framework and uh, webhooks. We will see also the uh, solution architecture behind, and we will go forward uh, with the Node.js app that works as a webhooks uh, broadcaster. And finally, we will analyze the client uh, aspect that in this case uh, it's a SPFX uh, web part and uh, there is also an application customizer in order in order to display the task notifications but we will see uh, the last one uh, in another video move forward uh, with the solution architecture and uh, as you can see, we have a SharePoint uh, online. In my case, we have a events list where uh, I have subscribed uh, webhooks. It means that every list changes will trigger an HTTP post towards the subscriber. In this case, uh, a Node.js app that uh, it's hosted on uh, Azure. The communication between server and client is performed by Socket.io. If you don't know this uh, powerful uh, JavaScript library, um, permits to establish a, a real-time communication across uh, uh, WebSocket between uh, server and client. And as I said, um, every list changes will trigger an HTTP post from SharePoint uh, to the Node.js uh, app. And uh, the Node.js app um, will send the, the webhooks, JSON, as is, uh, to the SPFX web part. In, in the user at the end we'll see the um, a simple uh, uh, label with the number of the new item that has been added added um, I want to put the focus also on the, an important uh, um, topic and it's the get changes API I use the Get Changes API because uh, I'm interested to display to the user only the content that is uh, really new and fresh. In order to do that, um, I use the, the this this kind of uh, of syntax in the in the body of my of my post. Um, I insert uh, add true, item true, and uh, the most important uh, is the change token start. In this case, I'm saying that uh, I I want to to grab only the uh, items that uh, has been uh, added and from a specific start date. Let me explain uh, what is this. Uh, this change token. The, the change token is composed by uh, several numbers. The first one identify the version. The, the second one identify the, the scope. In this case, a SharePoint list. And the, the, the third series of number, it's a GUID and uh, it's uh, uh, the GUI ID of the list. This is obviously it's a dynamic value. And uh, another important uh, part of this token uh, is the, the the date, the last query date. Uh, but we have to convert the the normal date in, in the UTC format. And uh, I'll uh, I'll show you how you can uh, you can achieve this this goal. 
And the last one uh, is the uh, default number. You can leave uh, minus one. Okay, move forward uh, with the demo. I have here my demo set collection. In order to subscribe the, the web books, you can uh, use what you prefer. Uh, I, I use the uh, SPFX uh, web part where I can uh, create a new subscription, I can uh, refresh existing subscription or I can delete also. Uh, you are absolutely free to use Postman or for example PMP PowerShell. I, I show you how you can, uh, yeah, exactly in this case you can uh, you can subscribe uh, webbooks with the add PMP webbook subscription. You can define the, the list and the notification URL. Okay. Okay. Move forward uh, directly on the on the SPFX web part. What we have here, we have a simple SPFX uh, web part. I use the uh, list detail uh, from Office uh, UI Fabric. Let me open the events list. I will split this into screen. Okay. Now I will add uh, a new item. conference call and here we can define a URL dev.office.com I will insert this new item and uh, I will uh, will have a, a here, here a label with uh, one new item created and uh, I have seen also a task notification, but, uh, but as uh, I mentioned uh, before, we will see uh, this application customizer in another video. So now I have a, a new item here. If I click on this new item, I will see the, the last generated item. Okay, move forward with the, with the code. This is the um, Node.js app that works as a webbooks broadcaster. I use the, the Express as a, a web framework. There are also other dependencies here, uh, as for example, body parser, parser in order to, to read uh, the body of, uh, of an HTTP request and the socket IO, the most important, and also the, the moment library. Uh, this uh, this Node.js app will uh, display the last six webbooks received and uh, will keep track of, uh, of them uh, <coughs> by writing a, a txt file. Uh, in the in the else of this uh, conditional uh, code, um, we will uh, grab uh, the webbooks uh, JSON that um, came across SharePoint, and uh, I use uh, here the io dot emit as a method in order to push this this content to the to the client to the spfx uh, web part and after i will keep track of it by writing uh, this information on of a, on a txt file the the solution is uh, ready to go you can uh, clone it it's available on my github um, exactly here you can clone it and uh, deploy directly on Azure. If you want to uh, go dive uh, about this uh, this kind of solution, you can uh, read my my blog post. Switch on the on the client side and 
here we have the SPFX web part. And uh, <clears throat> so basically I use the React and when the component uh, is mounted, is uh, ready to go, there is the connection to the socket. Also here I have an important dependency and this is the uh, socket IO client. Um, I will establish uh, the communication, the connection here with the socket. And the most important uh, point is here when uh, the new content is, is pushed from, from the server, this, this uh, method will, will be triggered. And uh, here I will execute the um, get uh, list changes, where as I mentioned before, I, I use the get changes API in order to, to get uh, only the, the content that it's already new for, uh, for the end user. This is the basically the, the main logic of this solution. And another <clears throat> important uh, um, uh, function is, um, is here to tick exactly here where the normal data is converted in the UTC ticks format. Okay, switch back on the on the slide in order in order to close this this video. Uh, my final consideration are that this scenario is uh, absolutely interesting, uh, where the communication is really important on our site. We have a very great perform performance thanks to Webhooks uh, mechanism and. Uh, Across the get changes APIs, uh, the web requests are reduced and uh, under control. That's all from my point. Um, thanks for uh, watching me. See you to the next video. Bye.